Good afternoon. I do not have anything to start with, so we can go to questions. Does the administration does the president believe that, that head slapping and simulated drowning are necessary tactics to use against suspected terrorists to keep America safe? Let, let, let me take a step back. Um, in the days after 9-11, when we were getting a steady stream of intelligence about potential new attacks, uh, the president faced a lot of challenges, and he asked his national security team to make sure that we designed and made sure that within the laws we had all the tools that we needed in order to keep this country safe and to prevent another attack. Oftentimes, the best information that you get is from the terrorists themselves. They know where the other terrorists are hiding and what the other terrorists are planning. And to win the war on terror, we must be able to detain them, interrogate them, question them, and when appropriate, prosecute them. The policy of the United States is not to torture. The President has not authorized it. He will not authorize it. I am not going to comment on any specific alleged techniques. To do so would provide the enemy with more information for how to train against these techniques. We do not torture. And I think another thing that everyone should keep in mind is that here in this country it's a quite a testament that even though we have a sworn enemy of the United States that has declared war on us and has acted upon that and killed thousands of our own citizens here just seven, six years ago, we are still having a debate to talk about how we should make sure that we treat people and that we don't torture them. And that is a, quite a testament to this, to, to this country. The bottom line is that we do not use torture. In September of last year, the President told the country about what had been a classified program of CIA mm -hmm. prisons mm -hmm. in other countries around the world. At that time, he said all the terrorists who were held, or alleged terrorists, who were held in those sites were no longer there. Today, do those prisons still exist, and are there alleged terrorists being held? The President said that a small number of suspected terrorist leaders and operatives captured during the war um, had been held and questioned outside the United States uh, in a separate program that was run by the CIA. Um, the President also at the time said that we were not going to, while we had talked about the people that had been held, uh, people, I should say, terrorists that were held, that were then transferred to Guantanamo Bay, that we were not going to tell you every time that that happened. Do these sites in countries outside the United States operated by the CIA, are they still actively operational? I'm not going to comment on that. I, if the CIA decides to comment, I'll let them. I, what I can tell you is that any procedures that they use are tough, safe, necessary, and lawful. Safe, necessary, and lawful, these techniques, and they've helped save American lives and those of our allies prevent attacks on Americans and our allies. Help prevent attacks in countries that we consider to be our allies and we have prevented attacks here. Uh, have any attacks been averted since President Bush revealed the existence of this program because uh, terrorism suspects have been held in the program? I, I, it's not some, I can tell you that General Hayden and Fran Townsend, the President's National uh, Homeland Security and Counterterrorism Advisor, have said that this program continues to save lives. Um, when we can, we declassify information so that we can provide it to you. But um, right now, I don't have any to provide. What is your yeah. definition of torture? Well, that's clearly spelled out in the, uh, in the Detainee Treatment Act and um, interpreted under the December 2004 opinion. Are you satisfied that there's enough clarity in sort of the definition? Very. I'm very satisfied that this country is following the laws. We, we follow our laws and our, we meet our international obligations. I think that this country uh, meets, its law, meets, meets the laws of uh, our nation and meets its international obligations. We believe that we are um, following our laws and that we are meeting our international obligations. You feel that there is enough clarity in the definition that the administration has put forward that they wouldn't be able to look at something and say, well, that seems I'm not saying that reasonable people couldn't disagree on complex questions. So does it That's possible. The door? If there were an attack on this country, all of the questions in here would be very different. You would be asking me, how did you allow this to happen? And what I am telling you is that within the law, we are making sure we are doing everything we can to prevent it from happening again. But what's to stop another country from then taking their own definition and interpretation based on the administration? Well, under, as I understand it, under the Geneva Convention, every country was supposed to interpret it for themselves. And we, now we have. As I understand it, I believe that the Geneva Conventions, that every country could interpret for themselves what, those, what that language meant. I'm, re I'm recalling that from the debate that we had in this country uh, from a year and a half ago. It basically says that if there is some kind of a problem with clarity, it is supposed to be taken to an international crimes court. So where... Which we are not going to do. Why, why not? I don't think it's necessary. The United States does not torture.